I'm putting a fast spin on a cowboy favorite with pressure cooker pulled pork sandwiches. Talk about a cowboy classic. But I'm gonna put a little bit of a spin on them and make them in a pressure cooker. So they'll be super tender and they'll be done in a flash. Okay, I'm gonna brown the pork first. I'm starting with just half a batch. I cut a pork shoulder into big chunks and I'm gonna add some seasoning while it sears. A tablespoon of salt, about half a teaspoon of black pepper, and then a teaspoon of chili powder, and a half a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. When I brown the second batch of the pork, I'll add seasoning then too. I love pulled pork. But to make it properly in the oven, you've got to block off several hours for that pork to get really tender and perfect. This pressure cooker is revolutionizing cowboy lunches. Okay, I'm gonna finish browning this first batch of pork and then I'll take it out and brown the other batch. Okay, the second batch of pork is browned. So I'm gonna put the first batch in. This is a big bunch of pork shoulder and it's gonna make a lot of pulled pork. And that's great because I never am sure how many pulled pork sandwiches the cowboys might eat. Now I'm also gonna add an onion that I peeled and cut into quarters. And then I've got five cloves of peeled garlic and I'll just stir it all together. Now the bottom of the insert of this pressure cooker is just completely coated in little brown bits and flavor, so I'm gonna help that along by adding three cups of chicken stock. Okay. Now I don't need to do another thing to this right now except just put on the lid, set it to cook for 40 minutes on sealing. The pressure cooker finished doing its thing and I released the pressure manually and then got the pork out of the machine and I'm just shredding it. I'm trying to get all the big chunks broken up. That looks fantastic. Now I'm gonna toss in some bottled barbecue sauce, probably about a cup and a half. I'll just pour it over. I'm gonna take extra sauce for the guys to put more on top if they want to. I've seen pulled pork that is absolutely drowning in barbecue sauce, and I like to keep it a little bit lighter and then take extra. I have learned through the years that everyone has different preferences when it comes to how saucy they want their pulled pork to be. That is looking so good.